Infection fatality rate. What is the chance of dying if someone gets infected? Uh, this is a paper that I published about a year ago in the bulletin of the WHO. It collected the data from all the available seroprevalence studies done until that time that were close to a general representative population. And on average, the median across 51 locations was 0.23%, which was much lower compared to our expectations in the beginning of the pandemic. However, there was large heterogeneity, and I show you here the scatter plot uh, as a function of the population. COVID-19 mortality in deaths per million, most of that heterogeneity can be explained away by differences in the age strata of different populations, by whether there are nursing homes with clustering of highly vulnerable, elderly, frail individuals, the management of the disease. We made a lot of errors. We made errors in ventilation early on with very aggressive ventilation of patients who were very frail. We made errors with hydroxychloroquine, which apparently was more toxic, especially in high doses in elderly individuals, and probably other factors. There are other evaluations that have tried to do the same. Some of them, most of them, pretty much agree with these numbers. A couple of them, like the one from Imperial College, suggest higher infection fatality rate estimates. But as I show in that paper that was published four years ago, I think that they have tremendous biases. It's a paper of 37 pages long, uh, and you can take a look at all the biases that I think exist in these calculations. My best estimate for a global infection fatality rate at the moment is in the range of 0.15%. For Europe and Americas, it's higher. On average, 0.3 to 0.4 percent. In some countries, it's higher than others. In some time periods, it's higher than others. For community dwelling people, it's about 0.2 percent. Because as I said, we had a very huge contribution of deaths in nursing homes. For Asia and Africa, it's probably 0.05 to 0.1 percent. And these numbers need to be adjusted for over and undercounting of deaths that may be different in different locations, and we still have to learn about that.